you're better off being ugly. We're not evil. We just cause trouble and have fun. You know, we're not evil. Hello, good people. This is Kirsten, and today I want to talk about insecurities and confidence. I've been watching a lot of Stephanie Lange, Lange and to be honest, she got me like anti-plastic surgery. But no, listen, let me tell you why. So when you're born into this world, you're not too worried about what you look like in your features. It's when people start to point out things and you start to notice people get certain treatment for looking a certain way is when you develop these insecurities. So you are born with them. Society, through those comparisons and nasty comments to you, and now you're like, oh, my nose is too big, it's lopsided, my lips are too small, my face is too square, and we take what people are saying, we take people's treatment, and then we go and get plastic surgery to get better treatment for the, from those people, get better compliments from those people. Like, no matter what you say, people are getting plastic surgery to please other people. It's not to boost their confidence. It's not. There's nothing you can say that would, that would convince me of that. Now that I've opened my mind, I mean, you literally have people going to surgeons and saying, make me look like Kim Kardashian because she is what's considered beautiful. You see her getting better treatment, better compliments, and you're like, oh, I don't look like that to get treated better. It's not about self-confidence. It's not. It's about taking what they see is considered beautiful, taking the nasty compliments they got from when they were younger, the nasty comparisons, and getting that fixed. So people will now consider them better looking. And I say quote unquote ugly because you know what the beauty standard is. It's either the Kim K or the bleach blonde, Barbie nose, nice size lips, you know. Either you're that or that with a nice shape, slim thick or real thick. If you're not either of those, you're considered ugly, but you're not ugly. God, and I'm not even religious, I'm not even really Christian like that, but God made us all different for a reason. He gave you a round face for a reason. I'm sorry, I try to use pronouns. God gave you a round face for a reason. If God wanted us all to look alike, we would have all looked alike. That little mole right here, that lopsided eyebrow right there, makes you unique. Okay, yes, we all have a double double game right there, whatever. But that makes you unique. We, our face, our faces and everything aren't even symmetrical. We're not perfect. We, we, we were never meant to be perfect. One eyebrow is higher than the other eyebrow for a reason. One eyelid has more space than this was for a reason. This fingernail is longer than this one for a reason. We were never meant to be perfect. We were never all meant to have the same idea of nose, which I don't even know where the nose came from because no one, not a lot of people are born with a button nose. So how is it the beauty standard if it's not really that common? I digress, I digress. And another point is, even when you do get plastic surgery, people are still gonna bring up old photos. You're still gonna compare the new you to the old you. And I'm not, I'm a culprit, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't pull up some photos of some players, but like, look at, look at how they look then and look at how they look now. I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You're gonna keep getting comparisons or you're gonna, you're gonna keep getting told, oh, especially, especially if you lose weight. And this really applies to women. You're like, oh, you're, you're, this used to be you. You're still fat. You're still ugly, bro. Like, you don't, don't think you lose your skinny and got your, your nose bit and your ability that you're, you're better than me. You, this is still you. You're going to have to deal with that because you got plastic surgery. So, 
So take that how you will. Okay? Take that how you will. I'm just saying you're better off just growing and loving the way you were born. Because changing it based on people's opinions, ideal standards, which changes, by the way. If you watch Stephanie's videos, the beauty standards change all the time. What's considered like ideal now would not have been considered ideal 10, um, 30, 70 years ago. Like thin lips was trendy. It was considered ideal. Being plump was considered I ideal. That meant you had wealth. That meant you had, what's the word? What's the other one? Dude? You had access to food. You weren't poor, you weren't skinny. You, you know, <laughs> ultra videos. So to end my point, you're not ugly. You're you, you're not a Kardashian, you're not a bleach blonde, <laughs> never mind. You're not bleach blonde Barbie, you are you. And don't let anyone say, oh, your nose is this, your eyes is that, your jaw shape is this, because they're comparing you to someone else and making you feel insignificant, and make you feel ugly when you're not. You're not, don't go and change your features because People are telling you this is not appealing. You're gonna be appealing to someone, you're not gonna be appealing to everybody, and that's fine because everybody needs to buy you fine. Some people's attention you do not want, okay? It's not good. Grow into your looks, love yourself, okay? And I'm not saying if you get plastic surgery, you don't love yourself. I think you gave in to people's opinions and judgments and you did what you had to do to stop some of those judgments but now you're getting plastic surgery judgments and you still get people comparing the new you to the old you so it, it really didn't matter that's that's how i feel um one more thing before i go it's interesting how we have certain people get plastic surgery, like really change their whole look because they've been told this was ugly, this body shape is terrible, you look not the best compared to your siblings. They get all this work done and then don't admit it. So you let the people pressure you into changing yourself and now you're ashamed to admit that you changed yourself. That, that doesn't make sense. Wink, wink. Um, but that is all I have to say for today. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And have whatever day you deserve. Bye-bye.